Hello everybody, my name is Brandon Hopkins and I am one of your Linode developer advocates. What we're going to be doing in this video is setting up our very own Rocket Chat server hosted here on Linode. This right here is the main Rocket Chat website. Basically what it is is a secure and private chat server that you host yourself. It is a wonderful alternative to something like Slack or even Discord, and it does have a lot of really nice features and functionality. If I head over to one of these pages, such as Talk to Colleagues, this will kind of run down some of the features we're gonna get, including direct messaging, channels, discussions, audio and video calls, uh, you have search history, there's various apps and integrations, and one of my favorite is the file sharing. So with that, let's go ahead and use the power of Linode's one-click installer to get this set up. So I went ahead, logged into my Linode dashboard and clicked on create. This is the page you'll see. But before we go ahead and create our Linode, I'm gonna be doing this with a domain name managed by the Linode DNS manager. So I purchased a domain separately on either Namecheap, GoDaddy, or wherever. I'm using the Linode name servers over there. And if you go ahead and scroll down, you can see how to set all this up. It's a really easy process. Basically, you just go over here to domains. I'm gonna open this up in a new tab. And then you can see some of the domains I have right here. I just go ahead and hit create domain and you go ahead and add it in from here. Now I'm just gonna be doing this on my primary domain, this techhut.tv domain. So one thing we're gonna want to do is go ahead and generate an API token. This is going to allow our Linode instance to communicate with our DNS manager. So right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new personal token. Uh, what we're allowing this to do is set up all the A records for us and create the subdomain for us. So for this, I'm just going to call it Rocket Chat. It's really only going to need this once, so you could keep this, you could set it as a month, whatever you would prefer to do. So from there, I'm going to click Create Token. Now, this is your personal access token. Do not share this with anybody. By the time you see this video, this will no longer be active. So I'm gonna copy that, close this out, and you could always revoke those, which is what I'm gonna do a little bit later with the one I just created. And now that we have our personal access token, we could go ahead and create our Rocket Chat server. So to do that, we're gonna go over to the marketplace, scroll down until we find Rocket Chat. There it is right here. So give that a click. We can scroll down. And the first thing we're gonna do is create a limited pseudo user. So I'm just typing my name, give that a password. We're gonna skip the SSH public key for now, but we will be linking down below if you want some more information on how to better secure your server. This I'm gonna say no, and right here, you're the node API token. This is where we're gonna paste in what we just created. So paste that, subdomain. So I'm gonna be doing this with techhut.tv, and I'm gonna call this something simple such as talk. So if I go to talk.techhut.tv, after the creation of this, it will be the Rocket Chat server. And of course, we're gonna to wanna to put in the domain that I'm doing this with, and then an email address for the certificates. And then we go to scroll down, you're gonna to want to keep this as Ubuntu, pick our region, so we could do, let's say California, that's closest to me. And from here, you could pick your plan. Now a shared one gigabyte, $5 a month nanode is going to be just fine to set this up. If you do have a lot of team members or people in your Rocket Chat server, you might want to upgrade in the future, but you can always just monitor your system resources and do that as needed. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and try this out right now, you could use the link down below to get a $100 60 day credit over on the node. So you can basically try it now for no cost. So for now, the nanode is gonna be fine. Give it a label, I'm gonna call it Rocket Chat Linode for now. And then we're gonna to want to go ahead and give it a root password. So make sure it's strong and secure, especially if you're not using uh, SSH keys. So after that, we're about good. We're gonna go ahead and hit create Linode. And from there, we could go ahead and wait for it to provision and boot up. And when it does say booting, what you could do to go ahead and kind of monitor the progress is just go ahead and launch your Lish console over here. This will open up and then you could watch it boot. You could watch it go ahead and install just about everything. And when this prompts you with a login, that's when you know that it is ready for you to go ahead and play around with. So you can see right here some of the stuff it's doing. It went ahead and set up talk.techhut.tv and it's downloading all the packages that it needs. These one-click installers are awesome because it really does a lot of the uh, heavy lifting for you, saving you a ton of time. And there we go, talk.techhut.tv has finished propagating. And one of the last things you're gonna see before you get that login prompt is the running initial updates. This may take a while. And I've done this a couple times so far and that is not a lie. 
So you're going to want to give it a minute. <laughs> All right. And after that, you are eventually going to get an installation complete. What we can do from here is go ahead and close out the Lish console. We're not going to need to go ahead and play around in that anymore. What we could do is go to that domain we just created. So we could go to talk techhut.tv and this is our new rocket chat server and it's pretty cool how it does that automatically with those api tokens if we go over to domains now i go over to techhut.tv scroll down a little and right here you'll see we have those talk entries so let's go over to our talk.techhut.tv site we just created and set this up this is the actual setup wizard so i'm going to go ahead and give this a name this is going to just be a tech chat for now my username, you could do whatever you want because this is your thing. Nothing's taken as of yet. Organization email, I'm just gonna put in my uh, business email for now and then give it a super strong, complicated, secure password and then continue. I'm gonna give that a save. And that sound you just heard was uh, our first little notification there. So now let's fill out this organization information. This is going to be a community organization name. It's just going to be Tech Hut for now. There we go. So continue. And now we have our server info. So this is our actual site name. I'm just going to leave a rocket chat for now. Language default is fine. Server type, we're going to go with public community or you could do private team if only your colleagues, uh, whomever is going to be accessing this. Let's go public for now. And you can auto opt in new users for two factor via email. For now, I'm gonna just say no on that. Continue. And now here, you could go ahead and register your server to get access to some additional information or some features such as mobile push notification gateway, uh, live chat, zero or OAuth proxy for social networks, app marketplace, and a couple other things. Or you could stay completely disconnected and keep the standalone so you'll need to uh, do a lot of the work yourself. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and register for access to their pre-configured gateways and proxies. So I'm gonna to agree to those terms of service, hit continue. I do recommend you actually read the terms of service. So we've launched successfully, your workspace is ready to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over to techhut.tv or go to your workspace. Uh, let's allow notifications. And here we are, this is our new Rocket Chat server. And like we said, there's a mobile app, there's also desktop clients if you prefer to use that. We have some administration. And if we want to change the content of our homepage, we could go to administration, layout, and home body, or click here. And this is a good place to start. This will take us to our admin dashboard with all of the different integrations, settings, invites, rooms, all the things that we have access to. So here's layout. You see, it's pretty simple. We just change the color of our errors, alerts, whatever it may be. Basically everything you see is at least somewhat customizable. This is our home body right here. So if I wanted to edit this, I could just change this to uh, Tech Hut Talk or really whatever I wanted. I could save those changes. And then if I head back over to just the main dashboard here, it should be changed. So it says, welcome to Tech Hut Talk. And right here it says cloud registration is still pending. Uh, this right here, what you have to do to get full access to all the features is go over to the email that you used and activate your account and properly connect it. So actually doing this, this right here is the email that I got. I'm gonna go ahead and click create account. Agree to these terms of service and continue. So I went ahead, activated my account, logged in here, and what you're gonna to want to do in the Rocket Chat Workspaces home is go over to register self-manage. This is the registration token. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a copy. And then what you're gonna to want to do is head back over to your self-hosted Rocket Chat server. And from here, we're gonna to want to go over to the admin panel. So you go ahead and click on your little icon there and then go to administration. And from in here, we could go over to connectivity services and then simply paste the token in right there. Click connect and then we can see it is connected. So what we could do now is log into the Rocket Chat Cloud, hit authorize, it'll link those accounts up and now we will have access to all those additional services. So th that's about it. You now have Rocket Chat synced up and hooked up so you can use everything you need to. You have your domain created, it's up and running. And now the only thing left to do is go through all these different settings, create new channels, invite some people, uh, mess with the custom sounds. We have the Federation dashboard here. Of course, there are custom emoji features, which is the absolute most important feature. And then we have deeper settings such as uh, various accounts. Like I said earlier, a lot of things are customizable. Run through all these settings, you are going to have a good time. So. 
That was the basic setup guide for Rocket Chat. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in more Linux cloud computing content similar to this one, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Again, if you want to go ahead and test this out right now, you could go ahead and get your $100 60 day credit. And with all of that, I hope you have a beautiful day and goodbye.